So this is a diagnostic outcome. The full assessment concluded that Graham, because that's my name, uh, meets the criteria for autism spectrum condition in line with the, diagnost the Diagnostic and statistic Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5. So what is that? What is autism? Persistent difficulties in social communication and social interaction manifested in all three of the following. Difficulties in social emotional reciprocity, difficulties in non-verbal communicative behaviours used for social interaction, difficulties in developing and maintaining relationships and friendships, excessive adherence to routines, ritualized patterns of verbal or non-verbal behavior, excessive resistances to change, highly restricted fixated interest that are atypical in intensity or focus. So that is like what, what autism can be. So I've done lots of research on autism and ADHD and I've been, um, it's a tractor. Um, I've been, uh, reading other people's on social media other people's you know experiences and stuff and everybody's autism is is so i read i i read i read something ages, ages ago it's some I, this 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 might be wrong don't quote me on this but it's something like i think it was 80 percent of the pop the world's population are neurotypical which is normal right their brains all work the same way and then there are 20 percent of the population who's who are neurodivergent um brains are wired slightly differently fit think different differently have different um thought processes and neurodivergency um is is you know autism adhd um dyslexia um loads loads of things so so 20 percent of the population are neurodivergent and of that 20 percent one percent or was it two it was one or two percent are autistic and it's those things i've just mentioned which are the difficulties that people can experience with autism but if you're autistic no nobody's um the same you don't have the same challenges you can have the same challenges, but there might be some things that like, for, for example, a lot of autistic people don't like bright lights because it, it's we're, we're sensitive. We're, we're highly sensitive. So we, 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 we stuff like means more or, or affects us more and, and they don't like, don't like light. Well, I don't get that. I'm not light doesn't affect me i mean don't get me wrong i don't want a light shined in my face but i've never had to i don't think anyway i've never had to like leave a room because oh, it's too bright in there i can't i can't work or can't do whatever I, I can't recall ever having done that but like today i'm not doing the bus ride because i don't want to be in that confined space with those people for two hours i just i just i don't want to i I, I, I won't I, <laughs> I will not enjoy it I don't want to do it that's why I'm here right so things affect people differently different degrees different amounts um, they say autism is a spectrum and and, it, and people are on it they can be on it anywhere you know so what's so what is um how I experience it what I go through or have to deal with or, or manage, you know, is, is unique to me. There will be some elements of things that I say here and what I do and where people will go, yeah, I do that as well, because that happened to me. I thought that's how I sort of realized this about myself is seeing it in, hearing it from other people, the things that I do, which I just thought, I guess I thought everybody does or, you know, everybody struggles or everybody thinks the same the, uh, but it's not true it's not true and i just didn't know that it blows blows your mind blows your mind